Now, most of the time, we're not really interested in the mass of a, and a very precise mass of the atom. We don't need all the digits. Okay, so uh, most, like a lot of times, you, you might just be interested in the mass of the nearest tenth of an atomic mass unit. So you don't need to look up the mass of a particular atom. All you have to do is just whatever the mass number is, figure out the mass based on the mass number. Okay, to the nearest tenth of an atomic mass unit, that's the mass of the atom. So, for example, magnesium 24, if you were to look it up, okay, so you go to webelements.com. There's magnesium right here. Okay, and you look at the isotopes. There are isotopes. You can see magnesium 24 has a mass of 23.9850423. But if you round that off to the nearest 10, what's that? 23.985 rounds off to 24.0, which is what the mass number is, 24. If you look at magnesium 26, okay, the mass is 25.9825937. Round off to the nearest 10, it's going to be 26.0. So. Uh, you really don't need to look it up unless you have very uh, a need to determine the, the more uh, digits in your mass. Okay, so what would be the approximate mass of a carbon-14 atom? 14.0 okay, 14 atomic mass units. 